Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel today's video is going to be all about the always on display that is supposedly coming to the new iPhones that are going to be launched in September of 2021. So the article that I've got pulled up here is iPhone 13 may feature new always on display mode. Now I gotta say I am a huge fan of the always on display that's on the Apple Watch so if they can bring that over to the phone I think that's going to be one of the best features that you can add. It's a really underrated feature in my opinion like I didn't realize how much I liked it until I bought the new Apple Watch like I was kind of deciding I was like do I really need the new Apple Watch because of that and the answer is yes like it's just such an amazing feature but anyways let's go ahead and dive into the article so the first thing that we see here is an image of what the always on display might look like and I gotta say that looks really really clean like if it looks anything remotely close to that I am going to be a happy customer that's for sure you can see it's got weather the activity app and messages and then it just tells you the time and the date very basic stuff but I'm hoping that you can maybe customize it which I know isn't really a thing just yet but I definitely think it would be awesome if you could customize it like put you know separate icons and stuff and you know maybe apps that you use more than others just to make it a little bit more personable but anyways let's keep going here so it says the rumor is on top of a new 120 hertz refresh rate on the pro models some new iPhone 13 models may also see an always on display mode according to Mr. Mark German who is 89.1% accurate so this dude knows what he's talking about most most of the time. The article also goes on to say that we should be expecting an A15 chip inside of the new iPhone with a smaller notch and a new display for better battery life and then the always on mode that we were just talking about along with the 120 hertz refresh rate display which is going to be awesome because the difference between 60 and 120 hertz doesn't really seem like a lot until you actually use something that's 120 hertz. Like on my iPad Pro it's 120 but then I go on my 12 Pro Max iPhone and I'm like oh my god this thing is slow. So yeah yes please Apple make those displays 120 hertz and give me an always on display mode. It also looks like we might be getting an upgrade to video recording so that is going to be huge for people like myself who record a lot of their videos with an iPhone. I'm curious to see what those upgrades are going to be because I've seen some reports that are saying we might get a bokeh effect on the actual video which would be awesome and if you guys don't know what that is it's essentially when the background looks blurry but the subject in front is clear which would make my videos look a little bit better in my opinion like if the background was kind of faded out and blurred a little bit but then I was in focus so I'm hoping that they do add something like that but I am curious to see what they officially do add when September time comes but yeah anyways on to the always on display I think it's going to be great and with the reports saying that some of the batteries are going to be a bit bigger in the phone then they could definitely accommodate to that especially because the always on display doesn't use that much battery like it's really not anything crazy it just shows you the time the date and a couple little icons beneath it that's really it and I'm really really hoping that this feature does come because I'm someone that likes to put their phone on a vertical charger and being able to see the time would be awesome like if I put it on my nightstand across from my room and I can see the time that would eliminate the need for me to have like the Amazon Echo Show or just like a regular digital clock there I could just have my iPhone charging vertically and see the time also when I'm doing work I could have like the phone buzz and then just see like a little notification pop up but kind of dimmed down and then if I want to use the phone then the screen would light up I am really Really, really hoping that this feature comes to the iPhone 13. It's just such an underrated feature like I was saying and if you guys are lucky enough to have experienced a product that has an always on display it's just a really nice thing to have. It's definitely a luxury like you don't necessarily need it but once you have it you get so used to it and it's going to eliminate the need for me to constantly be clicking my phone just to check the time because it's going to be visible all the time. But yeah Apple please add this to the new phone it's going to be an incredible feature. But yeah that's it for the article guys let me know what you you think about the always on display down below in the comments. I think a lot of people are really going to like this feature. Now if you have an iPhone 12 right now should you buy the iPhone 13 for the always on display? Probably not unless you like really 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 want it but for the people who are going to be buying that iPhone 13 it is going to be such an underrated feature like I was saying and I'm really hoping that it's customizable because if it's just preset icons like it's still going to be great by all means but I think it would make it even better if you could choose which icons are going to be on that display but yeah let me know what you guys think down below if you guys are new to the channel as well make sure you like and subscribe but that's it from me i hope you guys all have a great day and i will see you guys in the next video